Welcome to Schaefer Eye Center. Today our show is going to talk about contact lenses. Yes, contact lenses are so important to us at Schaefer Eye Center because we know today we have so many products to choose from that we can give you healthy, comfortable vision. And when I say lots of products, I mean every month we have something new, whether it be a new soft lens, a new lens for astigmatism, a new bifocal, an RGP, a scleral lens, a, a lens for children, or just systems for taking care of those contacts. So stay with us. We're going to talk about all the different products we have on the market today and why Schaefer Eye Center is the leader in the specialty contact lens practice. Air Optics Aqua Multifocal Contact Lenses allow for a range of prescription strength to blend across the contact lens so that you can see how you are meant to see. Call Schaefer Eye Center today or visit our website to book a contact lens evaluation today and learn if multifocal contact lenses are right for you. Call any Schaefer Eye Center for complete wear, care, and safety information. Risk of serious eye problems is greater for extended wear. In rare cases, loss of vision may result. Okay, I'm McKate. I'm so excited you've decided to try contacts. I'm going to teach you how to put them in your eyes now, okay? So you've got the contact on the tip of your finger, and I want you to take your right-handed, correct? Yep. Okay, I want you to take your left hand, and I want you to hold your eyelashes back. And then with your middle finger, I want you to open your eyes wide as you can and go in toward the center of your eye. Almost, you almost had it. You just went in a little too. Great job, Ashley. Emma Kate, that's great. How do you like the lens? They feel great. You know, this is the most important part of the contact lens evaluation for a teen or a young adult. Young adult, right, Emma Kate? Um, she's one of our great patients. And teaching children how to properly take care of contact lenses is a very serious issue, especially at Shaper Eye Center. We know that 68% of people like you aren't taking care of the lens properly. And what happens? You get infections, complications. But by going through a simple instruction like this, not only with the young adult, but also with the parent, helps us to make sure that they do a good job. The other thing, we make sure we see every young adult every six months, especially that first six months, so we also know they're doing a good job. So you will, you'll be back in a week, and we'll make sure you're doing well, and then we'll do it again in six months. We also use a nine-part sheet that allows us to go through everything that our, our chief technicians with contact lenses are going to do with the patient. So whether it be a watch instructional video, which you did and did a great job, we go through medical alerts so the parents understand the complications we have with contact lenses. And we go through articles on complications. And of course, we go through insertion and removal. And what was the first thing we, you had to do? You had to go what? Wash your hands, because we know, again, washing our hands is so important so we don't spread those germs. And again, this is just part of that teen, young adult contact lens system that we have at Schaefer Eye Center. Enjoy those contacts. Hello. Cornea is clear. Slight allergic conjunctivitis. Emma Kate, you can sit back. Doing an eye exam on our young adults and our young patients are so important, especially when we're dealing with contact lenses. We know that children have so many uh, uh, things that could possibly happen that's not going to happen to an adult. And also, I'm going to make sure that you stay healthy for a long time. 
because our young patients, they really need that special care. So number one, we do some special tests to make sure the eyes really has no problems, especially with allergy, because we know with young children in contact lenses, if they get any allergy whatsoever, it can end up as an upper lid problem called GPC. The other thing we do, is we look at a daily contact lens first. Now that doesn't mean that this is the only lens we use on children. It's what we suggest first because we know with a daily lens we don't have to go through all that cleaning and everything and this is a lot possibly healthier way to take care of lens. We know that logically it's a healthier way. The studies show that all contact lenses are healthy as long as we do it properly. The other things, let's say uh, Emma Kate had some astigmatism. We would make sure that she's corrected fully with that astigmatism. And the last thing that's mo most important, we know now you're not nearsighted, you're doing great. But a lot of young children are getting nearsighted early. And what we're doing is fitting those children in a multifocal lens and we're creating what we call peripheral blur because we know there's some lens will actually slow down or retard that myopia or nearsighted creep. So if your child that you're worried about them getting nearsighted or if you're a parent with very thick glasses or high minus, we know that there's some things we can do now. The other thing we look at is whether we're going to fit her in a soft lens or an RGP lens that she sleeps in at night and actually reduce the thickness of her, uh, change the shape of her eye so that she will not need to wear contact lenses at all during the day and just at night. So Emma Kate, you've done a good job. Thank you very much. Um, I do want to say how important this is to, that we all take care of our children properly and give them that extra step when we're dealing with contact lenses in children. It's about compliance. It's about seeing the doctor regularly at least every six months and at least twice after the fit in a contact lens. And lastly, most important, to make sure that they're compliant. They're doing everything they're supposed to do in cleaning, washing their hands, and throwing away the contact lens on time. Thank you very much. Today we're talking about contact lens. The contact lens evaluation is the start of this whole process. A lot of people feel, well, I just had an eye exam. Why do I need a contact lens evaluation? Well, there are 33 steps we use at the Schaefer Eye Center contact lens evaluation to make sure your eyes are healthy. One of the first things we do is use this biomicroscope and we look for any changes in the eye because we want to know what you look like when we start so that when you wear a contact, if there's any changes, we can tell. Ashley, can you hand me a cotton tip applicator? The next test that's so important is we take their upper lid. This is going to be a lot of fun. Look down for me. And we're going to invert the upper lid. This is the most important test you do in a contact lens evaluation because I want to know, does Joy have any type of allergies up under her eyelid? We know that wearing contact lenses will cause this, a disease called giant papillary conjunctivitis, especially in children. We discussed that earlier. We can prevent this disease. There's no purpose of ever having the disease if we teach the patient properly how to take care of the contact and make sure we fit them in the right lens. So I know Joy is clear to wear contacts, but every time I see her, we will invert her lid. The next we, thing we're gonna do is actually have fun and dye your eye, Joy. So if you'd insert some fluorescein, Ashley. And so we're gonna put fluorescein and this dyes the tears so that I can look at the tears and I look at any scratches or changes in the eye. As you can see, we have an unusual color now, and I can look for dry spots, and again, for any changes in the eye. Now, this is not done during a general eye exam. We do use dyes for other reasons. You can sit back, Joy. We use dyes for other reasons, but not particularly to observe the tear. We do do this often when we're doing a dry eye evaluation, and some people feel the dry eye evaluation, the contact lens evaluation, has a lot of crossover, and it does, because we know that over 40% of our contact lens patients are going to develop a dry eye over time. Now, usually it's about when they're 35 to 45, and Joy is not 40, so um, we're laughing because it's coming soon. Um, am I allowed to say that on the show? I just did, didn't I? Anyway, um, we know that people develop dry eye, and that would use a different type of contact lens and a different type of solution. So as we go through this evaluation, whether it be the microscope or corneal topography, as we'll show you in a few minutes, that is added steps we do to make sure you have safe, comfortable, 
clear vision. Air Optics Aqua Multifocal Contact Lenses allow for a range of prescription strength to blend across the contact lens so that you can see how you are meant to see. Call Schaefer Eye Center today or visit our website to book a contact lens evaluation today and learn if multifocal contact lenses are right for you. Call any Schaefer Eye Center for complete wear, care, and safety information. Risk of serious eye problems is greater for extended wear. In rare cases, loss of vision may result. Now that we've finished examining the patient, now the doctor and the technician have to decide what lens are we going to choose. In a Schaefer Eye Center, we don't just use one brand or two brand. We have literally lenses from every company. So the first thing we're going to decide, is this a one-week lens, a two-week lens, a monthly lens, an extended wear lens, a daily wear lens, a lens for astigmatism, a lens for a multifocal, which we'll talk about that later. But once we make the choice, then we have to decide which one fits better on the patient. So sometimes we'll try on two or three different brands, like this Pro Clearness AccuView and this Air Optics for daily, to find out which one of these fit the patient better. Same with our monthly two-week and one-week lens. We also have what we call specialized, and what these lenses are custom-made lenses. Sometimes you have astigmatism, or you have a thick prescription, you really just don't see quite as well. So specialized allows us to really custom make a lens precisely for that patient's eye. So we know we have astigmatism, we have daily wear, we have extend wear, we have a, a lens that are specially made with a custom design to give you that super sharp vision. And again, that's part of this entire evaluation because not one lens fits everybody. Sure, it'll work, but how well does it work? And we make sure that these lens work perfectly. We'll have the right lens for the right patient. Now let's talk about extend wear. And I know that 29% of you out there are sleeping in your lens when you're not supposed to. That's the statistics. And also, I know a lot of people are sleeping in the lens and wearing the lens too long or not wearing the right lens. These are really serious problems. When you sleep in a contact lens, you can end up with some very serious eye infections, including some of the worst ulcers that you're gonna, we're going to see. It hurts, and you possibly can lose all your vision in your eye don't do it. If you're a teen or young adult, you're not allowed to sleep in a contact lens. So parents, do not let your children fall asleep in their lenses. But let's talk about these complications. And by the way, the FDA, when they do studies on lenses, for a daily wear lens, they fall under a, a class two, which means they only need a few hundred patients for a study and a few months, really about 90 days. For extended wear, it takes over a year and almost a thousand patients to do a classified extended wear study. That's how much difference there is in the risk factor. So I'm showing three of our popular extended wear lenses. And just because you wear a lens doesn't mean that it's okay to sleep in them. So I'm throwing my lenses away because it's not about the lenses. It's about the examination. It's about your eye. At Schaefer Eye Center, 25% of the people who want to sleep in a contact lens, we tell them they're not good candidates. They will have an infection at some point in time. If you have a dry eye, for instance, you shouldn't sleep in a contact. If you have rheumatoid arthritis or Sjogren's syndrome, you should not sleep in a contact. There's certain medications when you're taking that'll, that really are, are not good to sleep in a contact lens when you're on those medications. So it's really important that you learn about the examination. Every extended wear patients we have has to come in every six months. Why? Because we want to make sure you're doing it right. Because sometimes you forget. We know that if you touch a lens enough and put it in the eye, there are so many bacteria in your finger that you will inevit inevitably cause some type of infection sometime in your life when you sleep in the lens. However, if you do it properly and throw away the lenses on time and make sure you're a good candidate and make sure you're using the right solutions when you take them out, you can have very comfortable, safe extended wear. We love our patients to sleep in a lens, wake up and see the clock and not have to worry about taking care of their lenses. But again, the convenience has a price and the price is you have to come in more often. You have to be compliant. And again, at Schaefer Eye Center, if you're not compliant, we're not going to give you your prescription. And I know that's sometimes a little bit tough to take, but we are real, very diligent 
about making sure that we protect your eyes because we understand the consequences. So, if you want to sleep in your contact lenses, give us a call. We're happy to work you through the process and tell you how it's safe to sleep in those lenses. Now it's time to talk about bifocal contact lenses. You know, none of us like turning 40, but when we do, we lose that ability to read. That's called presbyopia. Now, the good thing, we have contact lenses that can correct presbyopia, and today, better than ever. Now, one of the first procedures, that's actually an old procedure, is called monovision. In monovision, we take one eye and correct it for distance, and the other eye, your non-dominant usually, but it could be either one, and correct it for reading. Well, let's think about that. I take one eye and make you see good far away and take the other eye and make you see well close up. You know what? When you go to a stereo movie, you're not going to see very well. So let's understand you lose your stereopsis. Number two, we all know when you're driving at night, you actually can be dangerous. It is not very good nighttime vision. In fact, we have patients that are using glasses over their contacts just so they can drive at night. And lastly, when we do monovision, we can only correct you at one distance. So especially if you're 50 or older, we have to correct you for here. Your computer screen may be there, and it's just not very comfortable on the computer. So stereopsis, poor night vision, and poor near vision. Why are we doing monovision? I don't know. Some people actually have to, but those are rare today, because today we have multifocal contact lenses. In a multifocal contact lens, we have a center, distance or near, a second ring that would be distance or near opposite to this, and then a third that's actually aspheric and has multiple rings that go out. So actually we correct near, distance, and in between in the eyes. That is great. Now you have two eyes for distance, two eyes for reading. And sometimes we even do a modified where we may have a regular lens in one eye and have a bifocal in the other eye so you have multiple distances on those people that can't wear a multifocal in two eyes. But the key to making multifocals work is number one, spending the time. A multifocal evaluation takes two to three times longer than a definite regular contact lens or a lens for astigmatism because there's so many lenses that we have to go through to find that perfect vision. The next thing is make sure you have every brand available. Here is just an uh, example of four different brands, including our newest daily, you can throw it away every day, multifocal. So again, when you're using multiple brands, and we're taking the time to do the evaluation properly. And by the way, part of that evaluation, almost all multifocal patients come back at least twice to, so we can refine that pres prescription. And then the first year, we see them in six months to refine it again because we know slight changes make such a big difference when you're over 40. So again, if you want clear, comfortable vision and you're over 40, multifocals is the answer. And Schaefer Eye Center is the place to really have the entire complement of great doctors, great staff, and great products. Air Optics Aqua multifocal contact lenses allow for a range of prescription strength to blend across the contact lens so that you can see how you are meant to see. Call Schaefer Eye Center today or visit our website to book a contact lens evaluation today and learn if multifocal contact lenses are right for you. Call any Schaefer Eye Center for complete wear, care, and safety information. Risk of serious eye problems is greater for extended wear. In rare cases, loss of vision may result. Keratoconus. You know, keratoconus is a very common disorder that we see all the time, and it's a disease where the cornea of the eye actually gets pointed like that. We call this a cone, so that it causes distorted vision. With keratoconus today, we have so many options that we can use to make a patient see clearly. I am so excited about what we do with keratoconus. Let's look at keratoconus and watch what happens. So let's watch the process. So this is the iris. This is the cornea, the clear covering the front of the eye that allows you to see clearly. Now in keratoconus, what you're going to see is this cornea starts steepening. Let's stop that right there. And you can see how that would be difficult to see out of an eye like that. So now let's look at how do we make these patients normal again. 
Hi, I'm Jarvis Zelda. I've been a patient since 2003 of Schaefer Eye Center. I have a condition in my right eye called keratoconus. Basically what it does is it's a, it is a disease that um, the clear part of my right eye actually keeps growing. Um, and with that, they have to keep me on a close watch. They, I come in about every six months, um, every year, um, every two, uh, actually twice a year, to make sure that it does not worsen, uh, get worse, or if, or if my um, stigmatism changes, if they have to you know, make my contacts a little stronger or even lessen it sometimes to keep me at the 2015 um, position. That's my family. I, I mean, really, we are family. They actually take care of me very well. I come in, they take care of me. Because sometimes I have to come to just to even get my contacts right. That's why I come to Schaefer. Yeah. They, he stays on top of the new technology and what's ever going on. You cannot talk about contact lenses without talking about contact lens solution. We know that when you add a solution to a contact lens, now you created what we call a contact lens solution complex because it changes everything. It changes the way it fits on the eye, it changes the way the eye reacts to the, to the deposits on the lens, and also re may react to the solution. So let's talk about it. We have MPSs, which is multiple purpose solution. They rinse, they clean, they do it all. And we have hydrogen peroxide. We know that hydrogen peroxide is one of the best way to take care of a contact lenses. It costs a little bit more and it's a little bit harder because you have to put the lens into a special kind of case that neutralizes the hydrogen peroxide and keeps the lens perfectly clean. But of course, we love hydrogen peroxide when we need it. Of the solutions, the multiple purpose solutions are wonderful. The one thing is not wonderful is when a doctor prescribes a solution and they're all very good and then you go to the store and you exchange one for the other or worse, buy a generic. Generic drugs are great. We love generic drugs, they save money. Generic contact lens solutions are not very good because when we prescribe a particular brand, we've already looked at how that solution reacts with the lens on your eye. We know it works. We've put some dyes in your eyes as I showed you earlier and make sure that it doesn't affect the cornea because we know a lot of these solutions cause scratches every morning on the cornea. So we make sure that it's the right solution with the right lens. But then when you go to the grocery store or to the store and you exchange it, we don't know how it works with the lens. And the worst part about the generics is we don't even know what's in them. I've seen some of the worst contact lens problems of people that were doing great. They switched to generic compound. I was allergic to it. You don't know it because the contact lens acts as a bandage. It actually is a bandage, bandage lens. When people cause abrasions and cut their eyes, we don't patch them anymore. We put a contact lens on because it's a great bandage. So you're scratching your eye and you're bandaging right up. You don't know it till the problem's too late. So stay with the solution that the doctor prescribes. Peroxide when we need, the doctor will tell you when, and lastly is a case. Every month, how'd you like that? That was pretty good, throw away your case. Every month, throw away your case. We know that the worst infections, the worst ulcers, we can grow the bacteria right here on the case, so because these cases get very dirty. So make sure you throw away the case. The other thing, when you put the solution in the case, there's something called topping off. Topping off means, okay, I'm going to pour out half or leave a little bit in there, and then you pour more solution on the top. When we had the fusarium outbreak of ulcers, we found out the number one cause of noncompliance with fusarium was topping off a particular solution, causing biofilms to form in the case, and their biofilms are food for bacteria. So make sure you empty the case out completely and let it air dry, preferably open and in a clean place because there's really no good way to clean a contact lens case. So, clean cases, no topping off, keep with the solution the doctor prescribes and make sure the doctor checks you after he gives you the solution to know that that solution works. So you know you have to come back for a second visit. I'm sorry, but you do. And peroxides for those that have lots of allergies, even though all these solutions are just wonderful. Again, clean, comfortable contact lens wear. It starts with the solutions. Air Optics Aqua Multifocal Contact Lenses allow for a range of prescription strength to blend across the contact lens so that you can see how you are meant to see. 
Call Schaefer Eye Center today or visit our website to book a contact lens evaluation today and learn if multifocal contact lenses are right for you. Call any Schaefer Eye Center for complete wear, care, and safety information. Risk of serious eye problems is greater for extended wear. In rare cases, loss of vision may result. So now let's look at the options we have. First of all, we have here a soft lens. I dried it out for you. You can see the normal size of a soft contact lens. We actually have custom made soft lenses for those that have early keratoconus. We do a test called topography and an OCT and we find out exactly what that cornea looks like. So if it's early, we may start with that soft lens custom made with astigmatism for those patients. Next is an RGP or hard lens. As you can see, this lens is a lot smaller than a soft lens. And this is, was the traditional treatment for all keratoconics. Now, if you have a small central keratoconic cone, this still may be the lens of choice. But today, we have the answer to almost all keratoconic patients, and that's called a scleral lens. And you, look, you can look at the size of this lens. I can take an RGP and put it in the middle of that, and a soft lens. Neither are even close in size to this lens. What this lens does is create a new surface in front of the eye. So no matter how distorted your eye is, whether you've had surgery, a PK, um, any kind of transplant, any kind of RK surgery where you have distorted eyes, we can now rebuild the front of the eye with this lens. And the best thing about it, this lens is so comfortable because it sits on the white of the eye, not the cornea. So there's very few nerve endings. So most people put this lens on at number one, they just see wonderfully. They say, wow, this is great. Number two, it's comfortable again. And the third thing is we filled the lens with a lot of solutions, so it bathes the eye all day long um, and keeping the eye wet and moist and comfortable. Now, sometimes you have to take this out and there during the day and clean it, and there's some other things we go through because it's a very, very sophisticated process, but it's wonderful. And the other choice we have is this new product, called Duet, where we actually have a lens that's a soft lens built around a hard lens. Now we've had that for a while called Softlon, but that lens would not uh, let oxygen permeate the lens. These new lenses have a silicone a base, so they actually let oxygen in. So whether we use a hybrid, a soft custom lens, a RGP, or a scleral lens up to 20 millimeters, actually 24 millimeters diameter, we now can truly treat all keratoconic patients. And one other thing, there's a new procedure called cross-linking. In a Chafer Eye Center, we bring you the latest technologies there is. And now we can take a young patient, because we know this disease starts sometimes in early teens, 8, 9, 10, 12 years old. We can discover this early before it causes a problem and do a test called corny, or do a procedure called cross-linking. We actually strengthen the eye and then fit them in a contact lens and we can retard some of that keratoconic growth. Again, at Schaefer Eye Center, it's not just about the simple nearsighted patient. We're here to take care of you, your family, and any eye care disease process you have. When it comes to contact lens, the Schaefer Eye Center contact lens specialty practice is the place to be. Thanks for watching the show today. We really appreciate it and we enjoy seeing you in our offices.